Welcome to Sustainable Development Goals and Partnership. In this block, we look at the two Sustainable Development Goals which relate to partnership. So let us start with SDG 16, Peace, Justice and Strong Institutions. The underlying principle of this SDG are to promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all, and build effective, accountable and inclusive institutions at all levels. Look at a few key statistics and facts here. Um, I think everyone is aware that there are pleas for global peace uh, all the time and these grow louder. Uh, I think we're all aware that the world is, is witnessing the largest number of violent conflicts since um, the Second World War. And in 2020, a quarter of the global population were living in areas that were affected by conflicts. A record 100 million people have been forcibly displaced as of May 2022. Corruption, a global problem, is found everywhere and almost one in six businesses have received bribe requests from public officials. SDG 16 Peace, Justice and Strong Institution has 12 targets. Target 16.1. Significantly reduce all forms of violence and related deaths everywhere. Homicide is a large killer globally. In some countries, it's one of the leading causes of death. More than 400,000 people die each year from homicide. So 400,000 people are dying needlessly. Many of these are young adults. Um, the indicators that are going to review this particular SDG are made the number of victims of intentional homicides per 100,000 by population, sex and age, uh, and the conflict related deaths per 100,000 by population, uh, reviewing sex, age and cause. Target 16.2, end abuse, exploitation, trafficking and all forms of violence against and torture of children. So this SDG is focused on children it's strikingly sad to hear, but research tells us that child torture still occurs in many places in the world, particularly in underdeveloped countries, and that child refugees are often tortured. A tortured child develops numerous issues as an adult, post-traumatic stress disorder, anger, anxiety. It's a vicious circle. The indicators for this particular target are the proportion of children under 17 who experience any physical punishment or psychological aggression, by caregivers in the past month, and the number of victims of uh, human trafficking per 100,000 population. There are indicators on all of the targets in the SDGs, and we will be reviewing them in more detail in the units that are specifically dedicated to each SDG. Target 16.3, promote the rule of law at the national and international levels and ensure equal access to justice for all. Access to justice is a fundamental human right. Does everyone in Ireland have fair access to legal support? Social Justice Ireland tells us that in order to achieve equality of access, there must be a balance of power on both sides. In a legal context, the balance of power almost always rests with those who can afford counsel. How do we examine this? Or what are the indicators for this particular SDG? 16.3.1 uh, would be proportion of victims of violence in the previous 12 months who reported their victimization, unsentenced detainees as a proportion of the overall prison population and proportion of the population who have experienced a dispute in the past two years. We will be exploring all of the indicators in detail in the SDG 16 focused unit. Target 16.4. By 2030, significantly reduce illicit financial and arms flows strengthen the recovery and return of, sto of stolen assets and combat all forms of organized crime. Interestingly, I wonder how many of you think that we have a significant problem in Ireland with organized crime. Uh, there certainly is an element of it. There is an index called the Organized Crime Index, or you can look it up on ocindex.net. Uh, have a look at Ireland. You might be surprised where you, where you find it. Uh, what are the indicators for this SDG, uh, for this target? Uh, total value of inward and outward illicit financial flows in dollars. Proportion of seized, found or surrendered arms whose illicit origin or context has been traced or established by a competent authority. Target 16.5. Substantially reduce corruption and bribery in all their forms. 
Corruption, bribery, Ireland. What do you think? Do we have any? Unfortunately, on a global scale, we simply cannot reach any form of equality or equity uh, when we have high levels of corruption. And we do hear about these internationally on a daily basis. So what sort of indicators are we looking at here? The proportion of persons who had at least one contact with a public official who paid a bribe, proportions of businesses that had at least one contact with a public official that paid a bribe to a public official. So there's a number of ways to look at this uh, and to investigate that particular uh, target. Target 16.6, develop effective, accountable and transparent institutions at all levels. Another target which you may be able to relate to in Ireland, accountable and transparent institutions at all levels. I wonder, can any of you think of any institutions in Ireland uh, that uh, might have not been as transparent perhaps as they could have been over the last number of years? Fortunately, I think in fairness, we have very good systems here. Not every country, unfortunately, has that um, luxury. So how do you uh, monitor this? Well, the indicators for this are primary government expenditures as a proportion of original approved budget by sector, uh, proportion of population satisfied with their last experience of public services. Target 16.7, ensure responsive, inclusive, participatory and representative decision-making at all levels. Again, the key uh, fundamental underlying principle to democracy, really. Globally, but also here in Ireland, what percentage of those in decision-making positions have a disability or are from a marginalised community? How can we achieve equality if so many are underrepresented in the decision-making forums? These are some big questions, and we will be looking at these in more detail in the relevant SDG unit. So the indicators for this particular uh, target are proportion of positions in national and local institutions and the proportion of population who believe decision-making is inclusive and responsive. Target 16.8, broaden and strengthen the participation of developing countries in the institution of global governance. Clearly, again, if you're talking about equ equality, this is uh, an exceptionally important target for the SDGs. Clearly, it's important to have marginalised community members at the decision-making table. Also, at a global level, we cannot assume to be able to make global decisions that would be effective if all the countries are not fairly represented. The indicator for this target are the proportion of members and voting rights of developing countries in international organisations. Target 16.9. By 2030, provide legal identity for all, including birth registration. Something fortunately we've had in this country for a long time, providing proof of identity. Provide your long birth cert, provide proof of address. What would happen to you if you did not have a birth cert? Be very uh, difficult to prove who you were. UNICEF informs us that despite significant increases in birth registration, a quarter of the world's children remain invisible. So the indicators for this proportion of children under five whose birth have been registered with a civil authority by age. Target 16.10. Ensure public access to information and protect fundamental freedoms in accordance with national legislation and international agreements. So, protect fundamental freedoms. When journalists report the truth, the real truth behind corruption, war crimes, organised crimes and more, they risk their lives. UNESCO has informed us that 117 journalists were killed in 2020-2021. A shocking figure in modern day what kind of numbers do we look at here? The number of verified cases of killing, kidnapping, enforced disappearance, arbitrary detention and torture of journalists, associated media personnel, trade unionists and human rights advocates in the previous 12 months. That's the number we look at to, deter to monitor this. The number of countries that adopt and implement constitutional, statutory and or guarantees for public access to information. Uh, two key instruments there. Target 16A, strengthen relevant national institutions through international cooperation for building capacity at all levels, in particular in developing countries to prevent violence and combat terrorism and crime. Indicator for this is the existence of independent national human rights institutions in compliance with the Paris Principles. The Paris Principles are a set of international standards which frame and guide the work of human rights institutions.
Target 16b, the existence of independent national human rights institutions in compliance with the Paris Principle. The important thing to know about national human rights institutions is that they operate independently of the government. They work to protect the rights of all people. So what kind of an indicator will we be looking at for this? The proportion of population reporting having personally felt discriminated against or harassed in the previous 12 months on the basis of a ground of discrimination prohibited under international human rights law. So there we have 12 targets, all very important, fundamental really, if we want to have a peaceful, equitable society going forward. This target is all about promoting peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, providing access to justice for all, and building effective, accountable and inclusive institutions at all level. I think those aspirations are something that ring out now uh, in, in modern day Ireland, in as well as being global aspirations, I think effective and accountable and inclusive. There are three very important words when we talk about governance. Globally, to do this, we need cooperation. How can we really have equality if we have an inequitable justice system?